keep hearing stuff like, you know, this whole business with China, yeah. how they're a small part of our trade around the world and things like that. Yes. Um, is that true? I mean, yes. Okay. My question is, if they're such a small part, how come the markets react so dramatically when there's just a whisper from a no-name person that possible trade talks will be next month? Your guess is as good <laughs> as mine, man. It drives me crazy. nuts. I wrote an article about it in my newsletter. It's coming out tonight. I, I, I don't know. It makes absolutely no sense. And every once in a while, I think, well, I guess I'm just crazy. And I go do the research. And look, there are some companies, uh, Caterpillar, John Deere, a few of the tech companies. Listen, they're all they're going to be impacted by this. But you're talking about a very small market share. I mean, there are people losing jobs in America because of the downturn in Germany. And nobody's talking about that. So, look, it, it is not going, it, it is going to be something that we, you know, Cater I, I don't know this. I'm not saying as if I know this. I don't know. But Caterpillar can be, can be building in Indonesia or Taiwan tomorrow or Vietnam. They can change. They can build new plants. They can move things out. I mean, that's what's going to happen. And eventually, they'll be okay. And look, they're not hurting. They're not losing. I mean, their, their profits have slowed, but they're not losing money by any stretch. They're still making billions of dollars. Uh, it was about 55% of their profit. So it's a lot of money, but everything will be fine. Uh, it's more of a political issue this is all about the politics of it, and I think it's far more about that than it is anything else. Hey, I want to thank you for watching the clip. We sure do appreciate it. Would you go right now, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps us. We would appreciate it. Thanks again.